In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the pros and cons of the new Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. We have the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus right here, and I've been using this device for almost a week now, and I've had some decent experiences on this and some not so decent experiences. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over the pros and cons, my favorite and my least favorite things about this device, just to let you guys know my opinions on this device for anybody who's thinking about buying it. Also, if you guys wanna purchase this device, I'll leave an affiliate Amazon link in the description down below and the top comment down below as well. If you use that link to buy this tablet or use that link anytime on this channel, it always helps out the channel. But getting into the pros and cons on this device, we're going to first and foremost start off with the pros on this device. And the first pro about the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus has to be the build on this. Now this is going to be an all aluminum build, so it is going to be a very nice premium feeling tablet. It's going to be all metal. It's going to feel cold to the touch. It's going to be pretty heavy as well. So if you guys are comparing this to some older budget tablets or maybe some Amazon tablets or some other tablets that you can get overseas, this is one of the best builds you can get on a budget tablet. So I've really, really been liking the build of this. It feels as premium as like the Galaxy Tab S series tablet. So this is going to be a really nice build on this for $219. Our next pro is going to be that we we have a 90 hertz refresh rate so this is going to be very nice for people that play video games it's going to be a very fluid experience when watching movies and tv shows as well so really nice that we got that upgraded refresh rate from 60 to 90 hertz i think it looks really really good on this display and my next pro i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys i know this isn't going to do the speakers justice on this tablet but the third pro is going to be loud premium speakers as far as budget tablets go this has been the best experience i've had with speakers and if you guys don't know already we actually have a quad speaker setup so we have two speakers on this left side of the tablet and we also have two speakers on this side of the tablet as well so we have four speakers on this tablet very very loud we also have our dolby atmos on which is kind of like a surround sound thing but these speakers on this tablet sound really really good you guys are gonna have a great experience uh, watching TV shows, movies, and playing video games. It's going to be a very, very excellent experience. I know it's not gonna do it justice, but let's go ahead and show you the speakers in action. All right guys, so our next pro is going to be the memory expansion on this tablet. If you guys don't know already, uh, we can expand the storage on this device up to one terabyte, so that's always great to see. And as you guys see right there, we have a little spot where you can go ahead and use that SIM ejector tool, pop that out, and we can expand our storage. So great to see that on here. Great to see that we can store more photos and videos and ROMs and certain things like that that we download. Definitely something that uh, Apple doesn't do anymore, especially for their budget tablets. Our next pro is going to be something extremely basic, but we still have a headphone jack. I don't know if you guys can see this but at the corner of this tablet we have a headphone jack right there so in 2024 that's honestly impressive it's really cool that uh, Samsung thought about the people that are buying budget stuff and they didn't make us you know buy wireless earbuds or whatever when purchasing this tablet so it's really cool that we can use regular earbuds right there. Our next pro is going to be the processor on this device. And I thought the processor was actually pretty decent as, as far as for the performance goes. It's been a pretty fluid experience so far. I'm gonna be doing my video gaming review very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. But as far as experience goes, you guys are gonna be able to play Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG on this device, do your regular task, and even have Windows open in the background. I know this only has four gigabytes of RAM, which isn't the greatest in the world, but the processor definitely saves it with that 695 5G processor. Processor. So really nice to see a half decent processor in this tablet. Our next pro is going to be that we have expansion for accessories. As you guys can see, we have those three golden prongs down there. And what a lot of people do, because this does have Samsung DeX, which is going to go into our next pro, is actually use a keyboard on here. They hook up a mouse and stuff, and they use this as their work computer. And it has enough power to go ahead and do that, especially if you're only doing things like Microsoft Word, or you're going on Google Drive and you're doing Google files and different stuff like that. So if you guys just need to do some basic classwork 
or some basic work for your office job, maybe write out some reports, do some stuff like that, just very basic stuff. This is going to be as decent as a laptop for you guys. And I've seen some really, really decent mechanical keyboards for this as well. So some really cool accessories out there that are gonna be compatible with the Galaxy Tab A9 Plus. And that segues us into our next pro, which is this has a PC experience in this, if you guys did not know already. Uh, we have a full PC experience on this device and it is called Samsung Dex. So all you have to go ahead and do is go to our drop down bar menu right here. We have something called Dex. Go ahead and click on that. And that's going to take this device into a desktop like mode. It's honestly really, really cool. Kind of looks like a Windows computer right here. You have all your applications lined up right here. And even when you click on things like the internet, it's like a regular browser, as you guys can see. So that's really, really cool to have that desktop mode, especially if you're using other accessories like a mouse and a keyboard with this. And this would definitely be great for a student or anybody that goes on work trips. And the last pro on this device before we get into the cons, I'd have to say the value of this. So for $219, you guys of course are getting a full HD display. You guys are getting four very loud speakers on this. Memory expansion, a headphone jack, a really nice build on this. And we also have room for accessories, like I said before, and the PC experience as well. So if you guys are looking for a tablet that you can watch your TV shows on, you can watch movies on, you can do some light gaming and light work on, I feel like this is a very good value for $219. So that was the last pro of this device. I'm gonna go into some things that I do not like about this device. So the first thing right off the bat is going to be, we only have 64 gigabytes of internal storage on this base model of the Galaxy Tab A9 Plus. So not a lot of storage in here, especially for 2024 when the average applications like 500 megabytes to gigabyte now, especially if you're downloading video games like Genshin Impact where it takes like 24 gigabytes to even download the game. Just not a lot of storage in here, especially if you guys are wanting to download a lot of video games, I would uh, upgrade to the six gigabyte variant that has 128 gigabytes of internal storage. If you guys are thinking about downloading a lot of video games or a lot of applications on this, I would definitely invest the extra $50 to go ahead and do that. Uh, but on the base model, kind of sucks we only have 64 gigs. Our second con is going to be that we have a TFT display which is not for everyone. I feel that most people are going to be absolutely fine with the TFT display on this device. As you guys can see, when we turn it, we kind of get these dark spots right here. But if you look at it head on, it's gonna look great. Even turning it slightly, it doesn't look bad either. It definitely doesn't bother me at all. And I'm the type of person that doesn't wanna spend like five to $800 on a tablet. So this is perfect for me. I like the display on this. I feel like there are gonna be some people that get in their head too much and they're like, I don't really like how it turns like that. I want something a little bit more premium. Then I would say go up into another price range. But yeah, that's definitely a con about this device that we only have a TFT display on here. The next con is going to be that we have some thick, thick bezels on here. I was hoping they were a little bit slimmer, uh, but as you guys can see, we have about like an inch of a bezel around the entire tablet. Now, I know this isn't gonna piss a lot of people off. I know that you need some room to hold your tablet without pressing anything, so that may be a pro for some people, but I don't think the thick bezels are all that pretty on the Galaxy Tab A9 Plus. And the last con on this device, which I think is definitely uh, a rightful con, or definitely appropriate to talk about, is that we have pretty slow charging on this device. In my experience, it's been a little bit over three hours to charge this device from zero to 100%. So it's gonna take a while to charge this device and it lasts about six hours, so it's not the longest battery in the world, but still three hours is a while to charge this device. But those were my pros and cons of the new Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have this tablet and if you have your own pros and cons, leave them in the comment section down below as well. But I've really liked this device, honestly. So far, I feel like $219 is a good value on this and I can absolutely overlook the cons. Uh, for somebody that wants to do some light game gaming, some light uh, office work on this or class work on this, and of course just scrolling through Instagram and watching Netflix, Hulu, and all of those other uh, media applications and video applications on here. I think you guys are going to be absolutely pleased, especially only spending $219. But those were my pros and cons on the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus. Uh, hopefully I helped you in this video anyway at all. Uh, if I did, please leave a like down below. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, of course, subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified every time I do upload a new video. Again, this has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, Tech Gang.